other party has not offered such declaration, so we have to go to court. And then the German system offers a very effective legal remedy. We have on one hand the standard proceedings and then we have fast track proceedings. I said to my client, uh, surely, surely you do not want to settle on those, uh, on those, on, 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 on those terms. Uh, surely, I mean, but my advice is definitely not settle on those, on those terms. And I think, look, our statement of defense is ready. We've got a court hearing in two weeks' time. Um, what do you think? And he goes um, with his New York based. Israeli-born accent. Of course I'm going to settle! I don't even have a sexual life anymore because of this lawsuit. One big difference between uh, Germany and uh, England and Wales is that everything is very centralised. We have one senior court, or one set of senior courts. Uh, well, you know, when you do your training in this country, you uh, do and you get you cover a number of different areas. Uh, you, you're forced to um, go through a number of different areas. I enjoyed them all, um, but litigation was the one that I enjoyed most, so that's where I ended up. And as for doing media litigation and intellectual property litigation, I think it's just a matter of what's interesting, and um, I gravitated towards that. As, as that the digital channels have evolved, um, and as consumers have evolved their their purchasing patterns and the way of interacting with brand owners, all of those opportunities, the flip side to that coin is also there's a whole new area of risk. Um, as I pointed out, the, the, the Joseph bag was just slightly differing lines, you know, in terms of the actual um, measurements of the lines or something like that, where quite clearly the, the designs are very similar, for example, then of course uh, the burden on the defendants will be greater. I came to the seminar because uh, I am interested in luxury brands for a variety of reasons, but also the sort of combination of intellectual property rights that are often relevant to um, luxury brand owners. There's quite often trademark considerations. Uh, design considerations and of course um, with the online infringement um, sort of inc on the increase uh, there's also sort of domain name protection considerations also. Um, and like Claire I wanted to learn more about um, the overlapping rights because I focus primarily on trademarks also do designs um, but less so the domain protection and so it's always interesting to hear what's happening in that sphere especially at the moment with the uh, internet expansion. But practically speaking, the applicability of the law. Um, so for example, the Joseph presentation by Catherine was excellent because she really talked about what is important for them, what they really look out for, and what they sort of practically do to protect their brand. Um, so that was quite interesting from my perspective. So what would I be in another life? Um, I don't know. I, 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 from what I see, being a top litigator in France is pretty good. So uh, maybe that's the answer. Cool.